Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Creative Curbing. This is going to be a time lapse of a total yard transformation from start to finish. This homeowner gave us a call and didn't know exactly what he wanted done. He just knew that what he had did not look good and wanted us to fix it. So I pulled out SketchUp, kind of designed his house up the way it was and started throwing ideas at him. And initially this was the first drawing that he had decided on. It had four pine trees on the left side of the house. However, after further discussion with him and kind of worried about the driveway and the root systems impingement on the house, we went ahead and decided to plant one tree on the right side of the driveway with flower bed on either side and a walkway in the front. So here we are planting the three-year-old live oak tree and cutting out the grass, getting ready to put down some barrier cloth. Once the barrier cloth's down, we go ahead and bring in the plants and try to place them strategically, not only for looks, but also functionality. We don't want to plant anything that's going to grow six feet tall right outside the window and obstruct the view. While the guys are working on the plants, getting those planted, we uh, went ahead and measured off the driveway. They have a two-car driveway, and they normally have two vehicles parked in it, so they found that they were walking in the grass quite often to get up to their front door. So we decided to go ahead and put a walkway in. It's going to be a decomposed granite base with limestone slabs and then backfilled with this crushed marble that you see here. This is going to be a three-day job. Day one's getting the plants in, getting the marble in, getting the walkway in. Day two will be the curbing, and day three will be just touching everything up. So we leveled out the decomposed granite here. And while that's going on, we're going to start finishing out the left side flower bed. All the plants have already been planted. You can see a nice big sago palm right out there in the front. These things look so nice. They grow kind of big. That's why we put the, the smaller plants in the front of it and the sago right there in the middle. And then some various grasses and such that, you know, survive this Texas heat down here. Now we're going to start putting in the walkway and getting the gaps even between each stone is extremely important when building these walkways. It just makes all the difference. So lots of measuring and just getting it perfect. And we backfill it in with this crushed marble. Now that we've got, you know, all the plants planted and all the marble down, we move on to the curbing side of it. And this is going to be a coal medium curbing with a charcoal stamp. It'll be a two-tone accent. So we're dipping this roller in the dark charcoal powder, rolling it on there, and then staining it in. So once it dried, it had that two-tone color to it. I believe we're a little over 180 feet on this job. We decided after the fact to go ahead and add one more oak tree, so we planted that one on the left side of the house. Again, another three-year-old live oak. We gave these trees plenty of space as they can pretty quickly get about a 30-foot canopy within about 10 years. Just touching everything up, cleaning up all the excess concrete on the outer edge, finishing up the crushed marble around the edges. Throwing a couple more plants in the backyard and she's finished up. I appreciate you guys coming and watching our video today. Stay tuned. We got a we got lots of things planned for this channel. We're pretty excited. We plan to post two to three videos a week of some of our curb jobs and landscaping jobs. In the meantime, click the little icon right here at the bottom left to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next job.